morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you And welcome back to the beat-up plan as we return to the Dulkadir. Now, to a minor mistake of mine. As you can see already, I have a 100% wall score against Hizir the one hand, because, well, that's kind of obvious, he has only but one hand. So what happened? Well, after the last episode, when we told my young daughter here that she will go for a stewardship focus, or a duty focus, I noticed a tech of revolt, and I moved into strike. Unf and as I moved my armies around, I un found out, unfortunately, that apparently my son is one-legged. What? I looked in all these armies, he was nowhere leading an army. I've now placed him in an army that I exactly know where he's at, I've placed him over here, but he was in none of those armies. He was leading none, and thus I didn't know he was in there, and apparently he got terribly wounded. Distracted as I was, my armies moved into this county, Ja, and did battle. And as you can see, there are quite a few people here, and that's because my domestic is up. And as you can see, I've actually lost 4,000 people. Because the first battle against the 8,000 of the Bundekar, uh, sorry, of the Tekka, still called the Bundekar at times, <laughs> of the main horde, I would also want to say, but then I don't know if Tekka is actually stronger than Kit Bugai right now. I attacked them, lost, then sent everybody in because I was like, oh no, now also my army is getting crushed. Won that battle, spread the armies out, and then I realized, oh yeah, YouTube. Oops. Here you can see that I still had the fort, I had one army parked here, which was doing the stair off. There we walked in and I well, just captured these counties as you can see, because, well, there aren't even any forts around. So, where are we? We are with a one-legged son. Well, actually it increases his learning, his stats actually go up. Except for his personal combat skill. Okay, that's annoying. And his attraction. But his attraction was already improved thanks to strong, so it's okay. It doesn't decreases health even, so you know what? I'm okay with that. Even one hand that doesn't do anything, so apparently he was treated well, but... Unfortunately, unfortunately. But, claiming peace here, claiming the victory, gives us seven counties. One. Don't do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Within Turkestan. And only four over here, and one making five of total, not within our position. We can now truly claim that we have the King of Turkestan beneath us as a vassal. I like! I also realized, and perhaps some of you have told me, why not build a freaking castle? I have enough money as it is. Good point. I should do that. I will build a city over here though, because we only have three spots, but yeah, I am so filthy rich. Let me just build the castles up. Then I know the nomads will not go away, and I will do the same here, though I'm still going to help him with... Well, oh, in this case our market village, because this is going to turn into a city. This needs to turn into a city as well, market village. Because I am more, uh... Upon construction of a new holding, the fort in this county will be removed and contribute to the new discount of the construction cost. Okay, cool. And, um, here as well. And we will form these into cities, because that's a little bit less needed in order to, well, make sure that the country doesn't slip away of, um, from us because there's nomad agitation. So, I have looked into him. He doesn't have any children. His heir-to-be is 41. Goes down to this girl. She's inbred. I don't think she will die before he will die. Or, sorry, that I think she will die before he will die. So, there's no good heir to give this land to ahead of time, so I'm just gonna make this the happiest king there ever was. Grand on the title. I've just restored your lands, and you have both the Duchy of Turkon and the Duchy of Serdaya now at your control, as I am also building up all the forts you need so that you will not lose the lands. And, yes, we will keep this man Turkish. As I already said, unless he decides from himself to become Persian. He actually immediately moves his capital over here. That's interesting. Uh, I would be happy to grant you this reward, but... Yeah, you're not going to get some free rewards from me, buddy boy. Uh, let's build a market village here. Because this one will change to city walls if upgraded to a city. 
And this will not convert to anything. We need to uh, put some prestige into that, which is fine. We can do that later. I will build this barracks up. Because now we are building up other stuff as well anyway. Oh, I was already building a new city here. Oops. Well, gotta build out two, those two up and this to a fort. Uh, I'm doing too well. This is a new castle holding. Yeah, but we can build this to a... And he's just gonna have two castles over here. This is fine. Not a problem. There you go. He wants to be ambitious. While he's slothful, no. But I am willing to give him patience. And me lose the patience. But if he's ambitious, he wants to ounce out his brother. And he's not really a good one to now inherit. Considering his traits these days. There we go. Stand them down. Have you given away a county yet? No, you've not given away a single county. Oh no, there it is. Mysomatis. Turkish. Alright. Uh, really happy to do so, but no. <clears throat> I'm not gonna give people some free land here. Um, actually... Is one of these ladies, uh... Nope. Eleven. And yes, you died of gout. Your daughter died of gout. And ooh, your hunting dog needs proper training if he's to perform well during hunts. Perhaps you should take your hands, matters into your hands. Yes, I will. Alani are still fighting for what they are worth. Oh my, you are in incapable because you are bedridden due to the measles. Oof. <clears throat> Not going that well. But yes, we have enough money anyways, and we could definitely spend some money into Turkestan, getting it up to snuff. Um, but we also seem to have been finishing a few things of our own. There we go. Stables. Okay, those are all done. How about the hospitals? I mean, I'm willing to spend money in Turkestan. I've just spent like 2,000 gold, but let's not forget that this is important as well. No. Apparently I hit my advisor. Nope. Nope, the money seems to be all well spent. And you know what? Then I'm going to spend some money in loot, because I really want this hospital to be a little bit better. Because I don't want to have the sickness coming through my back door. We had enough money as it is anyways. We were I was already like saying, what am I supposed to do with all this stuff? Oh. Who's attacking you? The Jurgen Conquest of Sibir. Interesting. The Yugra is attacking. Uh you my darling. Consentious and affectionate and willful. Is now known as the unfaithful. Great. She has no lovers, she's just pregnant from another man. Oh, lovely. Uh, Kiva with... No, 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 no. What is it with the women that marry our emperors? Uh... No, because that... Well, that could make you a very good wife. Alright. Bitter rivals. Yet again. Was he really planning something against me after I gave him all that land? Jeez, man. I'm helping you. This is great. I feel a little bit stronger. I am already brawny. But that was the, yeah, the uh, event for the fact that you might get brawny. And why am I so focused on doing this? Because I really want to be on top of it. Oh, I can't spend the barracks because holding is not building anything. I will spend the prestige first so that the barracks will be upgraded as it becomes a fort. Otherwise it was a pointless exercise. Uh, that is a 
boilers exercise is really a waste. Faithful, catch! There we go, I've become diligent. Never lost that craven trait, though. Uh, I will deal with this later. That will definitely give me unrest, but oh, no longer Marshall. This is the new king of Kiva, and as I have no more Marshall. Well, he needs to be on the council, so let's do the King of Romania. Whose heir is... Oh, his uncle. Alright, I, I now see. Yeah. Okay. Spread our technology, sir. I mean, my son is the better marshal, but he can also get wounded as being a marshal. Why did you have to be unfaithful, my daughter? it! you should just let your brother have some good time. And trust me, he should be able to give you a good time as well. I mean, he comes from my loins. <laughs> okay, perhaps I shouldn't talk that way to my daughter. Uh, Market Village. Yep, let's build it up. You are going to become a town. And he's not even considered as... Wow, he's not even accepted as a child. Well done. Well done. Um, Cedar Mill, prosper, who knows. Perhaps we will this time be quiet. Upgrading them all of them, right? Yep. Because these are going to be cities and these are going to be castles. Um... I'm building a city holding here, so... But we do want to have... I'm going to help this man a lot by building this all up, but... There you go, it's a stone fortress. Dude, you can change this. Which one is this called? Kangli. Uh, you can change this now. Sir, Kangli is ready to. When upgraded to a city, but this can already become. This can already become something, can it not? Well, let's build a market village for him then. Have enough money, anyways, so why not do it, right? Man, you are a horrible king. But we have seen worse here in Abyssinia. Is he still on the throne? Nope. He is dead. Oh, wow, he got maimed as well. Succumbed to severe injuries. 11 years old. Well, his son is a lot better than him. Already. So, wow. I do like these new portraits a lot. Uh, very cool. But once this gets finished, building, at least we are guaranteed there will be a castle over here, so... Oh well, that is not a good education, not a long shot. You, my darling, are to marry your brother. Yeah, he... wow, he's attractive, that's about it. Nine point eight, what? Oh, that is given to me, right, okay, so... Man, I'm going to give this guy a lot. There you go. You should have made that the capital... Ninka poop. Oh no, is he going to do that every time? Okay, so building the castles is not a good idea. 
Because he apparently just keeps holding on to the tribe. So I need to make all the... No, I'm gonna build cities. He's just going to have to take the castles someday. I don't know. Take you as a concubine. You're lustful, you're shrew, you're awesome. Thank you. Oh, and I immediately now consider him as the right. <laughs> Whatever. She wasn't my concubine at that known, but never you mind. It's fine like this. This is this would have been an awesome wife. Stats are good. With good traits. Okay, a lot of castles constructed. Ground leather title. All of these castles, which I kind of want you to make the capital. Could I actually not, like, force this idea? No, I cannot force this idea. This is annoying. Um... Alright, and this is a city, right? Yeah. Transfer visage of the city. There we go. And grant the little title also of this castle. I hope you will make some of these actually your capital. No, you're giving them all away. Hmm. He wants to do something. Oh, you shall have it. Okay, so Arabian, Syrian, the Jew were holding over Amon. As you will. Um, okay, go get it. Rivalry. But she might make a good wife this way. And another city. No, another uh, barony. Well... She didn't get much further in the teachings than her brother did. Oh well. Uh, yeah, it's really annoying. I thought he would definitely make these capitals. Jeez. Town infrastructure at least one. So this can't be, cannot even be done. What? There's a limit to this. Here it can be done. Yeah, but I have the feeling now I need to grant him their... Ah, this is seriously annoying. There you go. I'm trying to help him out, but he seems to be actually just... Okay, we'll create barracks over here. This is a city, so after this we will load up the wooden fort and build it up even more. Okay. Stone Hill Fort. You should be able to convert this. Actually, they're already not stopped complaining, so building the things is good enough. Building these holdings did stop the nomads from uh, possible uprising, so that was correct. Only for some reason he is not upgrading his own tribal holding. Armed Chariot. You receive a report from the outcome of the military experiments that your Aaron Spabot asked you to sponsor. Apparently a large steel-plated chariot was constructed. Propelled by ten men inside, pulling it forward, directed by command, appearing out from a revolving turret mounted on top. This vehicle also has several ballistas firing through arrow slits. Though ending up being too slow and expensive for actual war time employment it still provides some valuable lessons. Oh. An early form of a tank. Oh, that's too bad. Adulteress, even though she rejected it at first. Oh, darling. 
Well, you're not of the, the woman that uh, kind of did me wrong. And there is another. There is, oh no, a former uh, concubine of mine going wrong. There you go. Well, going wrong, she dies. That's it's not something like, that's wrong, you cannot die. And then like, okay, sorry, I won't. Would we'll make some things a lot easier. More pleasant. So we will... Con uh, no, this is gone. I'm going home. This is pointless. I won't give up. I don't need to drink some weird drink. I've already found the animal. I wish they had a follow-up to that, but they don't. Hmm. Yeah, it's Bulgaria again. Sultanat of Bulgaria. What do they want this? Wow, this time they're really mm, pushing hard for Kiev. This one county. You know what? Doesn't have it. Defending against the Polish Holy War for Volhynia. Hmm, interesting. Oh wait, that's over here. Ah, oh, well, Teka, you. Freak man! That's so far away, why do I constantly need to help? Well, there's a, this marriage is at least going decent. With my second son and his wife. Good. Good. Do I really need to help out? 32% in favor of the usurper and 75% in favor in favor of this sultan. Fine, fine, fine. After all these are holy wars, we need to do something about them. Jeez. Yeah, this is the problem of the the, the hordes collapsing. Uh, we need to be the parent for all of them right now. He is building up a barracks. I don't think I paid for that. Oh, my daughter tells me that she's pregnant, but it can't be me, right? Well, why not? Hire someone to find out. Let's just uh, see. This is high treason! Jeez, not even my daughter here stays true to me. Adulteress! So this child is not mine. And we now all know that she's a carrying a bastard. Uh, still is too easy to seduce, I think, at times. Also, this marriage is going a little better. It is just between my first son and his wife not going too smoothly. You know what? I should bring him back home. Go in hiding? People are trying to kill him! Ugh, great. And Alania unfortunately lost a battle, apparently. Dude, if you... Fine, build up this barracks again with my prestige. It's fine, I have enough of it. Take it. Just upgrade stuff. I'm not gonna do anything more. You can upgrade it already, you can change it. I think he's building. I think he's uh, building a market, uh, an earth fort on his own here. I 
Excellent. I think the problem here is that I have had already so many children that the game just doesn't like for me to have even more children and thus these girls are not getting pregnant of me. Oh well, uh, then we have this daughter. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if she got married to someone. Like, already a second wife to him. Can't, uh, like, break this between this marriage or anything. Wonderful. More tech points. Always good. Definitely. Yeah, and he legitimized him. Alright. He wanted to tell the people of his conquest, though I must say he has really good stats. I don't know how this is going to fuel your ambition, but alright. Normally this is way too difficult for... Like, it seriously takes a, a heck of a ton of time if you want to do this on your own, but... Well, I'm helping him, but he's not uh, making the wisest of choices. There we go. Ah, oh, there we go. Once again, faithful, taking away my stress. If only people were as reliable, indeed. Oh, Syria died. Alright. The heir to be is this man. His uncle. <coughs> there goes my wife, actually. Okay, so which daughter do I want to marry? I could marry this daughter. She may hate me, but still. Is that the best one, or is actually... Oh. Or is one of these girls the best? Certainly she is not. She had, has way more intrigue. Arrange a marriage between her and me. Would that be still be a divine marriage? Take it. And then you... as a concubine. Yep, I am taking all my daughters as concubines. I'm almost like really tempted to just impregnate them? You know what? L hold on here. Let's just check for a second. Jar info. Oh, actually my fertility is quite low. It's only 45%. Okay. Sometimes I've seen like your v my fertility being at 110 and still women did not get pregnant. But uh, apparently it is not as good anymore as it once was. Don't know why. I don't think I have a trade against it. I kind of hope that Craven gets is, uh, taken away because I have enough traits for that to happen. I have kind, ambitious, chaste, craven, humble, and diligent. And that means I have one more than five, and that means they might go away. Um, I pray that you will recover. My third son, terribly ill. Well done. I will reward him. I'm paying for everything here. <laughs> and uh, what disease is now once again in my country that I get the report that I might want to close this sh The measles has broken out. Alright. Wait, oh my army has actually stopped moving. Whoops. I 
I hope you can DC this quick before um, Bulgaria kicks your, a kicks your ass, because otherwise it will be for naught. Oh, I see something I have to do. Uh, oh, somebody's trying to kill me? Upon the conclusion of a long council meeting, you decide to make a toast. Of course, one toast eventually becomes many, and time seems to slip away. This could lead to drunk. Later, as you leave the council chamber, you stumble and fall on your face. You can feel a taste of blood in your mouth and dizziness setting in. 10% chance I die. Oh, no, I'm not going to call upon anyone. I become wounded. That's fine. That happens. Who is this? Marsman out of Samender. Okay, so they are attacking already. She must already have like a ton of war score with this. 19. Yeah, I actually want to declare the same war. Liberate Alania. There you go. I'm all for this war. You're about to turn around. Alright, well... First, let's liberate this land from Bulgaria. Because I do have some... Invested interest in here. Now let's go kick this army's ass. 4th of November. Oh, we're just a little short of it. Chase it down. A wonderful idea. Of course, we'll have a non-aggression pact in India. Well, they at least they liberated Korsun for a while. That's good. Some peasant revolt that I probably don't need to take care of. Actually, hold on. Let them liberate that first. Hold on, I'm waiting. Ah, darn it. They moved out now. I'd hope they would um, end that siege so that I could, um, like, claim victory. But unfortunately, that is not the case currently. Uh, quick. Consentience, playful, and idolizer. Nothing against this. Perfect. Oh, that is not his army. That's the army of his liege. Right. That's why it also didn't de-siege. Um, still, go here. Kick that army. And siege this down. 100% for me. The question is, how is her war score? 90% still. Okay, so I need to say yes. I want this, and this is still par, but now she should have 100%. Yeah, 99. So wait on it. Why did this go to the Immortals? What? Excuse me? This went to me, this went to the Immortals? Why? Why did this go to the Immortals? I didn't tell him to get that. What? Is that because he had a claim or something? No, because he's from the line of... Egypt. <laughs> that makes no effing sense. Revoke the title. Seriously, that makes no sense. I'm revoking it. My vassals are going to be annoyed with me, but he should never have gotten that. Thank you. Hmm, you are dead. How unfortunate for you. You transfer the knowledge of that man over here. And Alania, yeah, you... The heir to be is this guy, Arabia, and then it will go down to this line. So it doesn't matter if I give it away or not, so Grandland title. 
money and just get you happy. There you go. The dual cutter is spreading into its original holdings. But this man is definitely Persian. And I do believe she's Persian as well, right? Yep, so that will spread, but this is all Turkish. Now he's got a daughter, so he has an heir. Uh, I think he's building up barracks. Well, I think it is time for me once again to go off camera and try and handle as much as I can. I don't know why he's not upgrading them, but we've prevented most of the Nomad agitation. And we have only but one, and that's over here. So, no, actually, where is it? It's in Alania itself. Where would that be? I don't know, but I will build a city over here then, and in that case, and I will build a castle over here. Preventing those lands of slipping away as we, well, gain an ever-growing empire. I can't wait until we can attack Jerusalem or the Byzantine Empire again, but for now we need to sit on our asses because, well, once again, 100% <clears throat> threat, and I'm going to take care of all of these little build-ups. I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty. <laughs>